What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what is in this box. I can't say that I'm expecting anything else right now, so this is a total mystery. I'll uh, I'll share this moment with you guys and we'll all figure it out together. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Thank you also to... It doesn't really... I don't know if that's a name or a company. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll find out what the heck is in here. If it's something you can actually buy, I will, of course, link it right down below. It does help my channel and use my links, but say it with me. That is entirely up to you. <laughs> I know some of you guys mouth the regular, you know, the, the, the regular intro along with me as I say it, right? Those of you who don't skip it. Okay, there we go. We're in Definitely how you're supposed to open this. Okay, it's kind of a kind of a rosy color. What do we got here? Game Star. What is Game Star? I don't understand. Okay. Is there anything else? We got some extra hardware. Interesting. Mm. And extra bearings, okay. With this this is running on loose bearings. What do we have? Oh, Alright, so let's see here. I can't remember who sent this. Alright. We have a nice look at that. <laughs> totally domed off uh pivot i mean it's the opposing side right here's the adjustment head beautiful uh timascus uh br some bright oranges in there that's really cool sorry i'm shining up a bit uh timascus pocket clip fully milled and then this is ooh, oh aggressive aggressive tanto wow nested uh i'm gonna guess that's a titanium liner um but that's gonna be a hidden screw back there and then it looks like what is this screw? Interesting. Okay. Let's check the uh, action. Oh, yeah. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Very easy to manipulate. Really cool. Okay. So, here's the name of this. Whoops. Here's the name of this uh, right now because I don't know. Off the, I have to go back and check through the information. But we'll just take a nice look at this. Just do the regular first impressions things like I, like I usually do. Um, this is not a review. I'm literally opening this up and experiencing it for the first time. Right off the bat, feels very high quality. I don't know where this is made. I, it, it's hard for me to say. We have flat, non-contoured titanium uh, for the scales. We have, they look like doorknobs for the uh, thumb studs, but you know what? They work really well. Um, I, <laughs> the, uh, the blade is super appealing. That is a very pointy tanto. Uh, absolutely. Little bit of a smile back here, not too bad. Oh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I've seen this before. This is on purpose. Uh, this is like the same thing with, initially I thought it was an error on like the CKF Rotten Evo uh, 3.0. I was like, why didn't they sharpen the final portion of that? Apparently it's on purpose. I, I don't know why. I don't know why some companies do this. Safety, so you're not initially cutting your finger or something like that, but this initial unsharpened portion of the blade right by this smile is usually, the way I understand it, intentional. Personally, I wish they'd just sharpen it all the way back because it's not like I'm going to put my finger up here. I'm going to put it back here, right? I like the little harpoon notch, uh, the grind lines on the swedge, uh, the secondary um, grind out here, which is, of course, flat. This is a compound tanto, so we have hollow on the initial grind. And then flat up here, super aggressive, very pointy. And, you know, the cutting edge gets relatively thin. I'm not going to call it, you know, amazingly thin behind the edge. Uh, fairly comfortable, right? Thanks to the, mostly uh, thanks to the flat pocket clip. This is a little bit of an up and over instead of a swoop. But this does work, right? And the tip of it, a little bit pointy, but you're not really engaging with that part. You're kind of resting on top of it. So, yeah, it feels pretty good. I'm going to guess this is about seven and a half inches overall. I think probably about the same, close to the size of the pair of three, right? 
Good looking profile. I'm really surprised that those thumb studs work as well as they do. It really is very, very easy to manipulate and super duper smooth. In fact, that's just gonna get smoother and smoother as time progresses. Um, let's see here. Wait, I don't think this is gonna be, oh, they do have some milling on the inside. Let's take a look. Let's look at all the inside. Interesting, that little screw back there. Just first impressions. I've never experienced this before, so this is not a review. Nested, I'm guessing, titanium liner. No. The liner's steel, which is fine, because if they did titanium, you'd want a steel lock bar insert anyway for steel on steel contact, right? This would be an inexpensive piece to replace uh, if, if it needed to. But I just like that it is nested titanium. Titanium backspacer, right? I don't know. Have to wait and see what the price tag is on it. Uh, you guys will know, right? Here's the thing. the uh, This video is being recorded a couple of weeks before you'll actually see it. So by the time I finish recording it, I will have gone and looked up the price and linked it so that everybody can go see. So if you're wanting to know what this is, you don't need to bother informing me in the comments. I already know. Uh, but the, the link is in the description for your convenience so that you can go take a look at it if you want to. It'll probably be the maker or designer's website because I don't, I don't think I've ever heard GS Knives. I don't think I've ever heard of this company. The box is nice. I appreciate the extra um, hardware. I'm curious about this tool. Let's get that out. I think this is just, it's just a simple fixed Torx, does this come up? No. It's just like a, so that you have a tool in the event that you don't have um, Torx heads, which is nice. It's cool that they just include that, but it looks as though, I, I mean, the obviously the interesting thing about this is that all of the hardware is hidden. So my guess is that in order to take this apart, you have to undo this screw first. And then the backspacer comes out and then you probably have access to the rest of the hardware after you undo uh, the pivot. That element of it is super duper cool, right? I mean, I kind of focused on the other elements here initially, but the element of having every last piece of hardware completely and totally hidden is, uh, is nice, you know? Sometimes screws really bother people and I get that, right? The design definitely does look cleaner and you know, depending on how easy it is to get this apart, which I might save for the actual review, um, that might actually be a huge benefit to this knife. So, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know that this really needs to be more than it currently is. This is cool. Uh, expect a full comprehensive review of this knife in maybe three to four weeks. I have a lot of stuff to get through, so this will go in queue. Thanks so much to GS Knives or GameStar Studio uh, Knives for sending this in for me to take a look at. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Please.